Hello there, welcome back to the Wild Blue Wanderers channel. So when we started this YouTube channel, part of my ideas was I wanted to document the travels that we're going to do and our building up to full-time RV living potentially and also to be able to show maintenance on the RV and to modifications to the RV but also to our other vehicles. There's, I used to watch videos when I first bought my pickup and trying to learn how to do things and sometimes they didn't show me what I wanted to see um, so I decided I wanted to do some of that stuff too. So in this video I'm actually showing you my lift kit install that I did um, a few months back. Um, I put a two inch ready lift, two and a half inch front, two inch rear ready lift lift kit in the pickup. So I wanted to share that with you and then at the end of showing that I will give you my six month or one year, I can't remember how long it was, update on uh, on what I think of it and if I would do it again. So we'll get started. Install the ready lift two and a half inch front and about an inch and a half rear, I believe, is what it's going to be. Lift on a 2022 F350. Got all the parts laid out here. And the truck's about ready to go on the lift. But before we do that, we're going to do some measurements to see what exactly each corner has. This isn't going to be too scientific or too exactly accurate but we're going to go from the center of the hub up and it looks like we got 40, well let's say 40 and a half to this ridge right here, rib right there on the front left. We got 42 and three quarters to that same rib. And let's see, that says 43 and a half. And 41 and a half. So, looks like it's got a little bit of a lean one way. Just for giggles, that's 40 and a half again. All right. All right, we're up in the air. I personally like a little bit of the factory rake, so I chose the actual lift rather than just a leveling kit. So here's the factory block. It's two inches. And here's the new block. It's still in the package, but it is four inches so it'll be about a two inch lift in the rear and then two and a half in the front all right we're going to start by we got the axle supported and we are going to start by removing the brake lines from the frame the brake line bracket from the axle and then we're going to remove the sway bar from the frame, brackets there, um, and the lower shock mounts. Then we will uh, loosen the radius arm bolts back here at the frame, not take them out, just loosen them, and then we'll raise well, we'll lower the axle enough to put the puck in and then start going back together. Pretty quick and simple. All right, we are done for the most part. We got our shock extensions. We got the puck block in the top. We got our sway bar extensions, brake line extension, 
both sides are the same. Only thing left is putting the wheels on, lowering it down, and tightening back down this uh, rear trailing arm bolt. Torque it once it gets on the floor. And I still have the back to do. So, pretty much front's done. Almost forgot about the new track bar bracket. Oop. So that's all bolted in. Three bolts up there. Two bolts in the bottom. Hopefully keep the front end aligned. All right, we're gonna switch to the rear. Get the jack stands underneath. We're gonna do a drive line drop. So we'll put a spacer in there. Replace the factory blocks with four inch blocks. All right, new blocks are in. And uh, U bolts. It's like really droop. I got plenty of slack brake cables, both sides. Put the spacer in the drive line. Hopefully, that can be seen good enough. Now we're just going to lower it down, do our final torques, take it for a drive, and we'll aim it scheduled for Monday. Alright, we just got back from the test drive. Everything's jostled around. Let's see where we're at now. Front left. Looks like 43. That same ridge. Left rear. Uh, 44 and 3 quarter maybe. 45 and three quarter. Still, this side's an inch higher. And lastly, 43 and three quarter. So that's the difference. We'll show the math there. And we will, uh, I think I'm going to try to adjust the steering wheel since it's off just a little bit. So I pulled straight into this garage shop and I left the steering wheel at the angle that it was with pulling directly straight in. So what I'm gonna to try to do is lengthen the drag link until I get the steering wheel close to square. Then I'll take it for a ride and come back and adjust again if I need to. All right, so hopefully we can see that. Already. Tip the camera over. I sprayed a little uh, liquid wrench on it. So we're gonna adjust Drag link up there, hopefully. There's one turn. I'm going to go two. Two turns. Now let's go inside, see if that straightened the steering wheel at all. So two turns, got it a lot closer. I think I'll go one more, maybe two, see where we're at there. There we go. There we go. darn close. Nice and straight. Hopefully I'll take it in in the alignment. They'll tell me everything was dead on. Find out Monday. But I feel comfortable driving it as it is right now, so. Right, Willy Willy? Sleepy dog. So here's the results of the alignment. You can see it actually wasn't too far off. Uh, the caster was off just a little bit. The toe was off just a little bit. They adjusted those back within specs. The kit did come with the bushings to adjust the caster correct. 
So everything's within specs now and it drives really good. Just got the 37 inch, 37 11 50 20 Neato Ridge Grapplers installed. There is a slight little bit of rubbing right there on hard lock. So eventually I'll probably get a little bit less offset of a wheel or just stick them out just a little bit. But on our measurements, we've got driver's side front, 44 and a quarter. Driver's side rear to that same spot, 46 and eh, between a quarter and a half. Passenger side rear, right about 47. And passenger front. Looks like right about 45 to that same rib. There we got it. Here's a before and after picture. This turned out just the way I was wanting. It's about four inches of overall lift with the tires. Took me about four hours to complete by myself. Started about 1245 and got done around 420. That included adjusting that drag link. Got a little bit of rub on the trailing arm, so eventually I will uh, get some different offset wheels. But it drives great as it is. Can't really tell much different than stock. Fuel mileage is about the same as it was. Drove to South Dakota and back, couldn't tell much different. So very happy with the outcome. So I hope that was helpful to some of you and uh, it wasn't too boring to the others, but that's something that I really liked um, when I bought the pickup. I wanted just a little bit more lift. I didn't want to be crazy and silly. Um, if I was planning on towing a, you know, a fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer with this all the time, I probably wouldn't have done the lift. Um, so am I happy with it? Absolutely. Um, I like the looks, the tires, the size of it, everything. I'm real happy with that. So uh, um, would I do it again? Absolutely. Um, how does it ride? To be honest, it rides great. There's the death wobble problem that people talk about. I haven't experienced it one bit. I've got over 25,000 miles on it. Um, over 15,000 of those are with the lift kit on it. And I have to say, I have no complaints. It runs great, it drives straight down the road. It's smooth, it's still fairly quiet with the tires that I chose. <clears throat> and uh, I would definitely do it again. However, did it rob some power? Probably, but this thing has so much power, it's unnoticeable. Again, if I was pulling a big 45 foot gooseneck trailer or, or, or RV, I'd probably notice it a little bit more and I probably wouldn't have gone to this this step. But for what we're gonna use it for, we're gonna get it set up as a toad now. I've got a ramp that we're putting in the back of it to haul the Harley. So we'll have this as a toad along with the Jeep as a toad for down the road. So that's our plans as we're moving forward. So um, if you got any questions, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you hated it, give me the thumbs down too. That's fine. Um, and think about subscribing to our channel. I'm gonna continue showing a few videos as we're getting this set up as a toad. Um, we got some modifications on the motorhome we wanna do, a few repairs, um, and uh, we got a couple other trips planned already coming up. So um, follow us along. Have a great day, thanks.